Um, another day at the office. Hey, what? Why do you guys look so different? Whoa! Oh man, I look like a badass. Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 42 of Atollus Crap. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon and management game where you try to save as many lives as possible. Commander, are we ready to get started? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. I redid the color palette, like, like entirely. Here's the new palette. It's a lot smaller, and it's also a lot more simplistic, and also a little bit desaturated, uh, which I learned is not that great to have complete saturation. <laughs> I got extremely motivated on Sunday after watching Blender Guru's Color Theory uh, video. I think Michael K. Taylor recommended that to me, so thank you for that. And it was really, really helpful. I went through literally every sprite I've made so far and made it so it fit the current color palette. And I honestly think that it looks so much better. Um, I'm really liking the new look. Having the workers and the rooms be sort of similar colors, um, even if there are sort of different shades of it, I think that looks great. Um, I'm really happy with that. Additionally, I'm really liking the commanders. Like, the human commander looks so sick. I, I love it. Oh, thanks, Garrett. Yeah, sure thing. Hey, what about me? Oh, oh of course, you, you look good too. I also added time control. So now you can speed up, stop, and play at normal time. This is something that I guess I really didn't think much about before when planning it, but I know it's a great feature, especially for the slower starting moments of a Tycoon game. It's working pretty well, like with how I'm doing the animations and just the uh, the progress of the competition versus you. That's working all fine, and with the research as well. However, I am I am having trouble with the, the camera movement because I'm using a rigid body, and I guess since you're adding force over time, when the time is stopped, it doesn't work. I managed to do it where I instead translated the camera instead of using the rigid bodies, but I like the I guess the fluidity of the rigid body movement compared to the translate so either what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out how to do the rigid body movement when there's no time or I'm just gonna switch it to the translate uh, camera movement no matter what in the end I'm gonna make it consistent so it feels good um, that's something I still have to look into further and on Friday I got really inspired to do stuff with the marketing mechanic so I basically made a mock UI for how that's gonna look and there's really no functionality at this point aside from activating and deactivating the UI. Right now the market share just kind of fluctuates over time. I just need that to show that market share will change. There's no functionality yet with that compared to you and the competitors. But that's something I'm definitely gonna continue doing further. Um, it's just great that it's sort of set up now for whenever I really want to focus down and, and work on it that it's gonna be pretty simple for me, at least, at least so I hope. Other than that, I did a few smaller things. I added the ability to destroy rooms. <laughs> Although it doesn't destroy the workers inside. And I also fixed some bugs with like the worker placement and animations. Um, that's that's now correct. Hey Garrett, how's the training been? It's great. I'm really trying to focus on getting good at a few tricks at a time. So right now I'm focusing on the twist and my handspring. I'm not going to put them in combos yet because I need to get good at them, but we're making progress. Here's the development timeline of the games thus far. I spent 260 minutes on art, 940 minutes on programming, and 35 minutes on animation. And here's the development timeline of where the game is going in the upcoming months. For my next steps, I want to actually implement some functionality with the marketing mechanics, and I also want to get a private playable version, so no, it's not going to be public. The demo will be coming up in at least sometime during winter break. Um, but I want to start getting things sort of wrapped up in sort of this playable state where you, there's a visible start, a gameplay loop, and end. So my question this week is just, what do you think of the new art? Um, I doubt you're going to change my mind unless everyone agrees that it sucks. Um, I don't think it does, uh, but I just kind of want to know uh, what you think about it. I swear, if one of y'all hates on me, I'm going to... Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you viewers. And I just want to take this opportunity to let you know that I'm here for help if you need it, if you want help with game development, or if you just want help in general or someone to talk to, uh, please come to me for help. I'm not an expert in really anything. Um, however, I am a person that you come talk to if you need just, just someone to, to lend a ear. So please, there's a link to my Discord friend request and also my Instagram DMs if you want to talk to me there. I love every single one of you. I will see you in the next devlog.
Bye, everyone.